Whoa. This is Drax's promise? Mine was a lot less downery. This is just the doorstep. Poor guy was stuck here, reliving the loss of his family. Your friend's fear and pain primed him as prey. What do you know about it, Goldilocks? More than I mind. There's the big galoot. That was easy. This is just an echo, little fuzzy. Part of poor Greeny can never stop digging until he accepts what's given. <laughs> I'm not the only one that hears that, right? We got a runner! After a I don't know this part! Drax. Please be something soft down there! <laughs> Drax? Not Drax. Thanos. Bet you weren't expecting a family reunion, eh, Gamora? I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> not so tough after all. Something's not right. You failed to fathom the rules of this realm. <laughs> what the? Okay, that's new. I am your father. You've been playing in your mother's garden again. I was hunting. Hunting dirt? No, I chased it, but it was too quick. Only fools rush forward. A hunter waits, chooses her moment. Drax. <clears throat> Papa, are you all right? What the flock is that? Yes, little one. The mother waits. Insidious succubus! Release your thrall! It's not in Kansas anymore. The mark are those! Spawn of shadow! Snuff their source while I widen our They're way! They're coming from those nests! I have purchase! Prepare to be pulled within! Hold on to your tails! Don't you dare! I ain't cleaning one gets out of my car! If we're all right, define all right. I think we gotta look at whatever's keeping us from Drax. You saw simply its spawn. That black stuff. I saw something like it in my promise. Is that... Drax's wife? I think so. Hovat. Then this must be Drax's home. <laughs> you two certainly took your time. Only fools rush. Come, my love. Let us go inside. Drax, buddy. Your words are wasted, wind. Easy, all right. I got this. Come on, big guy. I know you can hear me. Why do you haunt me? We're gonna lose him again. It's me, buddy. Stormlord, remember? We're all here. You're stronger than this, Drax. Come on, you big lug. Don't leave me alone with Quill. <laughs> Drax, dinner is ready. That's not Hovat. Gotta let her go. You do not know what you ask. Damn it! Here we go again. What? Endless entropy. Cease this charade! It's 
not all bad. I don't see any new promise, at least. We are an empty eternal echo. Naked nothingness. Not helping. Hobo wizard. All right, everyone just split up and look for a way out. Or forward, or whatever. I lose a bet if I die in a dark pit. It was alone in a dark pit. Drax! Come on, buddy. I know you can hear me. This ain't flarkin' funny. I know you're in there. Look. I can't believe that worked. Let's go. Part of him is still with us. I'm sure of it. Why are you doing this? Do not leave me be. You gotta trust us, Drax. We're trying to help. By destroying my home. Your blissful ignorance is in ignoble pursuit. Easy, Shakespeare. We got this. Come on. You don't really want to stay in this dark hole? I would endure the depths of Sarduth to be with my family. Drax, love. It is time to eat. Special. They are the only thing that matters. My Hovat was the most fearless mate I have ever known. He brought me peace even during times of war. My Camaria. My innocent little Camaria. She was the best of us both. Despite her meager stature, they both were. Were. They were. And your quill. My family is gone. Well, what sits before me? I don't know. But it's not real. It ain't good. It is a perversion, fed by desperation. Without it, I will have nothing. I cannot be alone again. You're not alone, man. We're here for you. We've all lost someone, Drax. But it gets easier if you surround yourself with the right people. I am Groot. Uh, Groot said some mushy stuff. Let's just pretend I said it too. We're a team. Papa? Are you okay? Join us, Drax. Are you hurt, Papa? Talk to us, love. Cherish the time that we had, and not resent the time that we lost. <gasps> Shall love and honor you both. Always.
How you doing, big guy? You okay? I am of sound mind, thanks to you all. I owe amends for my lapse in judgment. Hey, you don't owe us squat. Ain't none of us perfect. It's kind of our thing. <laughs> How much do you remember? Great darkness grew with every lie that I swallowed. The longer I remained with my family, the more certain I became that I could never leave. Your quill. Your child is in danger. If her pain is half my own, the darkness may consume her entirely. Not if I can help it. We gotta be smart about this. There's a whole lot of converted between us and her. A whole lot of that black blorf, too. And anyone wanna tell me why Harry Hobo was able to suck it up? More than why that thing looked like him. Because it is me. together and smart money says it's gonna be a tough fight imagine ambivalent omnipotence drifting in darkness uh, speaking of dark such was my celestial solitude power without purpose until uncovered by Raker his crew were convalescent plagued by a pox I was serendipitously suited to soothe a ship full of sick people just happens upon someone with limitless healing we were need and needed Symptom and solace. They worshipped the wonder of my ways and declared me divine. I think we know where this is going. I do not know where this is going. This is the scary part? As the flock of followers fawned, a dark delight developed deep within me. And in the shadows it spoke. Weak whelps. Pernicious priesting. Feeble fools fit for feasting. Hubris made hunger. A cancerous craving called Magus. What did it want? Complete devotion. I too heard this voice and could hear nothing else. Adulation, flagellation, gorged with grief and consternation. I told you this was the scary part. It was pure putrefaction, sown from the seed of my strength, my soul stone gone sour. I resolved to rip it out. Rip it out? How? A mechanical marvel wrought by Reiko would sever the stone from my skull and excise the evil entangled within. Translation, you let Raker steal your powers. Whatever his wayward wander, he was on that day my friend. He swore to separate sanctity from sin, that my healing could yet be harnessed without harm. Sure, but who's harnessing it? I'm with Rocket. Raker knew exactly what he was doing. That man's a master manipulator. Damn it! Now you've got me doing it. I bear no blame for my fallen friend. Our errant experiment all but broke us both. Then how do you explain how your best bud got his hands on the stone and has now taken over the galaxy? I cannot. I think... I can answer that. After I rejected my promise, I got pulled into Nikki's. Corel was there. She was trying to show me something. Peter, you can't trust anything you saw in there. This was different. And it felt different. She took me back to the QZ and I saw that Magus thing. I saw it get all twisted up with Nikki and I... I saw it kill Corel. You hear yourself? How'd she show you this if she's dead? Quite conceivably. Her soul may be snared by the stone, chained to the child. That's what Corel said. The three of them are somehow connected. She said Nikki needs to accept her death. Magus preys upon her pain, manipulates her mind while feeding on her flock of followers. And I'm guessing it never gets full. 
Its appetite is insatiable. If unassailed, Magus will absorb all. We're gonna need one hell of a plan. Well, you better come up with it quick, because I see daylight. The bond between Magus and Matriarch must be broken. It harvests its hunger through the host. So... Nikki's like the head vampire. If we cure her, it'll free the rest. Why didn't you just say that? So step one, find Nikki. Step two, convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. You show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus is merged with her, she may not survive the severing. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downer, but how are we supposed to find the kid? What are you- What's going- Oh, Flark. Oh, Flark. We've got the Cortex. They can go anywhere, convert anyone. That sound like you're not coming with us. These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Just trust me. Don't go dying on me. I'm starting to actually get you. Papa Squat Golden Boy, you're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. What sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mud. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? It is assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. Bet on Last time. You I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the man. Hold on. You don't remember? I remember sparring against the Celestial Madonna in a small village. And then the cold darkness of the promise devouring my soul. Until you found me. Yeah, you missed a lot. Did you just... You have closed the refrigerator door. Yeah, I do that sometimes. I thought I was the only one who ever bothered. I thought I was the only one. I observed the tree closing at once. Hey, Warlock. Open up. This is my room, you know. And that would be my cassette cover. You pen this pithy poetry? It's not poetry, it's music. Hard rock. 
It's supposed to have guitars and bass and drums. Simplistic scriptures, as is its scribe. Okay. What's your deal, man? What did I do to piss you off? Your lamentable leadership allowed the Madonna to leave when we needed her talents to travel to the telepathic realm. Mantis had good reason to stay behind. We just need to get Nikki and get the hell out so we can find her again. Your tenuous tactics trust too much to fortune. Can you confidently convince me your meager measures may amply manage this mission? Yes. Absolutely. Wise words. Sure and measured. But beheld by my bemused misgivings, your demeanor differs distinctly in direction from my more willful ways. Maybe we can meet in the middle then. Yes. An oath! Will you own an oath to operate with greater aggression? To give gravitas to gravid seasons of your soul and struggle not to stand on destiny's icy flows? Sure, man. Whatever it takes. Then assert it. I swear I'll be a good leader. That I'll be decisive and, and uh, that I won't let Manus do whatever she wants. I stand partially reassured. What about you, Mr. Fancy Words? How do I know you won't see Raker and have a change of heart? Why would I weasel away? Didn't you used to be best buds with him? We were common company for a fleeting fallow, through which I witnessed the incommensurable extent of his sadness. He mourns his lost son. That's why he's doing all of this. The church, the matriarch? Because he wants to get his kid back. But that can't happen, right? Magus can't- No. Cannot. So? We can count on you? When you reunite with Raker, that man's gotta go down. Indubitably. Did you reach Cosmo? That explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. If you don't answer it, they'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. All yours, buddy. Deceased wife and daughter are with me. To thank the matriarch for her gift. May the promise be fulfilled. You are clear to land on the spaceport. Them bars and betting parlors and noodle joints. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. I assume it will be worse. Raker rallies regiments while we wait, whistling in the wings. Landing as fast as I can, Gold. What the flark? Great, cocoon boy thinks he's a butterfly now. He is a man of action. Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security, Muscles. I am quite adept at deception. We're gonna need more than that to get to the Continuum Cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. Should we, like, try to find him? Time is running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side. 
You take care of the Milano, okay? Make sure the ship's still here when we come back. Let's do this! Time to save Nikki. Peter? Okay. Just be cool. Let me handle these guys. Welcome, travelers. Have you come to witness the fulfillment? What now? The realization of the Matriarch's promise. The beginning of a new world. One without death, or pain, or fear. You should know this. Weren't you vetted and cleared to land here? What? Of course we were. How are you not aware of the fulfillment? Something is wrong. These heretics must be stopped! Attack! What if it's fused there and Raker's trying to remove it? <laughs> like you did with Goldilocks? Didn't work all that well the first time. The girl may have sensed the evil in the stone and insisted they try again. Or she's outlived her usefulness and Raker wants to steal some power for herself. Regardless, we must reach the Undercity to find the girl and stop whatever they are doing. And we'll have to be ready for them to try and stop us. The converted ones will be prepared to die in order to bring their loved ones back to life. Our level of cooperation is invigorating. We have become a formidable team. Yep, sure have, Drax. Ain't we just one big, happy Flarkin family? What are you doing with that garbage? She's not garbage. Definitely not good. Gamora, wait! Hold on a sec! Why? So more children can be sacrificed in the name of Rager's flagged up church? Of course not, just... Just what, Peter? I don't know. Breathe. Every minute we waste. We don't have time to breathe. I know Raker brings back bad memories. This isn't about Thanos! It's about Nikki! And what men like Raker and Thanos do to girls like her. Like me. My sister. If I had just been better at protecting Nebula, maybe... Maybe she wouldn't be dead. Whoa. What? Nebula's dead? How? By who? Tell me, so I can find him and shake his protective hand. By me. You killed your sister? She is the one you saw in the Matriarch's Promise. That's how I knew it was a lie. The nebula I knew had been twisted into a hateful, vengeful monster thing. One who would never stop unless I stopped her. So I did. I just never expected to survive. Why didn't you say something? It's not exactly a conversation starter. Hi, I'm Gamora. I murdered my sister. Can we be friends? Of course we can. How can you be friends with a monster? Why would you want that on your team? I 
that team I actually kind of enjoyed being on, all things considered. Well, uh, I hate Nebula, so I actually would have... What? I'm just saying it don't change nothing. Actually, it changes everything. The most deadly woman in the galaxy just admitted she loves us. I did not. You did? You said you were in love with us right after the part about killing your sister. I said I enjoyed your company. That is the Katathian definition of love. Like. I I'll give you like. C can we just move on? Agreed. That's about all the love fest I can take. We accept you, Gamora Zenubri. Pretty sure we're married now. This is excruciating. All right, I'm pretty sure we've all caught our breath. Let's say we go stop a nut job cult leader. Yes. forces they can bring in here. We gotta shut it down! Let's get to the bridge. Cosmos Tower is the quickest way. 